Uh, it's your boy DJ Academics. Now, the coonery of Chirac. Now, we got a Chirac savage named Kenneth K. Jackson. Now, this is the scum of the earth. Now, he's been charged with the murder of a 16-year-old boy who went to Simeon High School, and he was a student there, and his name is Michael Flournoy. Now, this scum, Kenneth K. Jackson, he was charged with first-degree murder, also charged with murder and mob action, according to the Chicago Sun-Times. Now, apparently, this gun-toting coon gunned down the victim in front of a church. In front of a church. These savages have no morals. Their only goal in life is to not be caught lacking and rack up a body count that they could be a block legend. That's it. Now, apparently... Michael, he was on his way, and that's the victim. He was on his way to pick up a bag of potato chips from the store when he was jumped and shot in the face. Apparently, the savage, uh, the savage Kenneth K. Jackson, he was walking with some type of baby savage, like his kid or something like that. Then he sees Michael. They're walking past each other. Apparently, he felt that Michael said or mumbled something to his baby savage. Now, in true killer drone fashion, he said, what, what, what would you say? Would you say to my kid? Ah, you know what? Stay right here. I'll be right back. Which I still can't understand why Michael stayed there, but he did. Now, Kenneth came back with a couple other savages. So, you know, they're rolling packs. So he came back with a couple more savages. And, of course, he had the tool on him because he can't be caught lacking. And, of course, after the savage ran and got the other savages and the pistol, they jumped the kid. And he's 16. They jumped him. And shot him in the face. Now, he was later pronounced dead at a hospital. And this is what I'm saying. These criminals nowadays, or these shy rat criminals, they're usually so fucking dumb. And the nigga moments or the savage moments they have is so blatant. Kenneth realized this shit. And allegedly, apparently when he was caught up with, with the police, when the police caught up to him, he just said, fuck it. He just confessed. He did, forget the first 48. He just said, fuck it. I did it. Yes. I shot that nigga. I, just to claim a body. Do you guys remember? I don't know if anyone remembers um, The Wire when Weebay, he, he was claiming all types of bodies. And it was like, listen, bring me some more fries. And I cl- I'll cop out to a couple more bodies. It's all good. Now, this fool, Kenneth, he admitted. He said, yeah, I murked him. Yeah, just arrest me. I'm going home. It's fine. Now, these killer drones, after fulfilling their kill mission, they fulfill whatever order is on their kill script. They're useless. No wonder he's fucking telling on himself. Now, this fool who committed the murder, apparently, is a 31-year-old gangbagger. Kenneth is 30 fucking one years old. He's basically a fucking senior citizen gangbanger in Chirac. At this point, he should be worried about collecting his 401k from being a savage in Chirac instead. No, 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 no. He's not even seeking retirement. He's still out here trying to rack up bodies. Now, unfortunately for Michael, his life was taken by this coon. But luckily, police has put their hands and collars on the scoundrel. And will put him underneath the jail where he belongs. Now, you guys get in the comment box. What do you think about this next savage who killed killed an innocent boy or killed a boy for no reason? What happened to a fist fight? What happened to even, uh, even though this is not cool, even jumping him, beating him down, letting him later, whatever, recover later. Maybe he learned his lesson if he did say something messed up. But shooting him in the face, you savages deserve exactly what you get to be underneath the jail. Now, it's your boy DJ Academics getting in the comment box. What do you guys think about this story? Uh, the war in Chirac continues. The coonery never ceases. Damn, damn, damn. I'm out.